Hi everyone, welcome back to Solark's YouTube channel. My name is Bernie and today I'd like to clarify some points regarding the Solark 12K. The first point I'd like to clarify is the name of the Solark 12K. The 12K comes from the 9 kilowatts that are inverted plus the 3 kilowatts that are pushed to the battery at the same time. That means there are 9 continuous kilowatts pushing towards the loads to power the loads and there are 3 kilowatts that are available to also power the batteries and charge the batteries up throughout the day. This doesn't necessarily mean though that you can only charge your batteries with 3 kilowatts. You can charge your batteries with up to 9 kilowatts as well. Another point I'd like to clarify is that if you installed everything according to the specs and to the manual, there should be at least 6 inches between the Solark and another object, such as a wall. And if you've got two or more Solarks in parallel, then there should be at least 12 inches in between each system to ensure that there's proper ventilation and that there is no overheating in the Solark. The next point I'd like to clarify is the idle consumption of the Solark. The idle consumption is 60 watts, as you can see from this video. Doing the multiplication gives us around 60 total watts consumed from the battery to power the Solark. Another important aspect of this topic is that the Solark has a total output of 9 kilowatts. This means that 60 watts is around 0.66% of its total output. Therefore, from time to time, the Solark might show on the screen a value that is off by less than a percentage point. And this can actually always be improved with a Solark firmware upgrade. This upgrade ensures that your system is running up-to-date firmware and we've already worked out through several bugs in previous versions of software. Therefore, having your system on the latest software will allow you to run your system with the highest expectations. And currently, this new firmware upgrade allows the customer to have a lot more customizability over their system in regards to both time of use and generator usage. Another point that I'd like to go over are just two errors that we hear about and those are the bus and balance that's F26 and the AC hardware overcurrent that is an F18. For the bus and balance to occur there must be a difference in between legs L1 to L2 greater than 4800 watts AC and 1400 watts DC. It's not 4500 watts it's 4800 watts. The F18 comes from the hardware overcurrent. That means essentially that the Solark is trying to power loads greater than 9000 watts that are inverted from PV. And the F18 is easily fixable by load management. Just ensure essentially that you are not drawing too much power at a time from the Solark if you're off grid. Another really cool thing about the Solark is its ability to DC couple to any chemistry out there of battery in the market. It just needs to be a total of 48 nominal volts for it to work with the Solark. It can also DC couple batteries as large as 9,900 amp hours. We also have several battery partners in hand that we can actually have closed loop communications with their battery. This means essentially that the information between the battery and the inverter has a cable to go through and they can actually tell each other whatever they need to tell each other. And this information may be things such as the voltage, it might be the current, it also might be the power consumed throughout the day. It's essentially a better way to have that communication and that connection of the battery. And it also gives you that much more control and power over your system. Another great thing about the Solark is its ability to connect to any generator out there to power up the loads and to charge the batteries at the same time. Now, when I say any generator, I mean any 240 volt generator. It can be portable or it can be a standby generator. We typically prefer generators that have a two wire start so that they can connect to pins seven and eight on your Solark and be automatically closed so that your generator turns on automatically whenever the battery reaches below a certain percentage or voltage predetermined by you so that then the generator is able to both provide power to the batteries and to the loads. 
Another fantastic feature on the Solark is its ability to AC couple while DC coupling at the same time. Not a lot of inverters in the market can do this. Now, we have a maximum combined input of 16 kilowatts. Now, the best setup that we'll recommend is 13 kilowatts DC with 3 kilowatts AC. That will give you essentially the best combination and we'll always recommend that. Now, there's a lot of information now in the internet and not a lot of it and not all of it will be true. What we'll always recommend is reach out to us. Reach out to support at solarc.com. Reach out to sales at solarc.com. Reach out to info at solarc.com. With any questions you may have, and one of our people will always help you out. We'll always, always be happy to clarify any questions, any concerns, any comments you might have. And remember, if you want your solar to work to the best of its abilities, Go ahead and click on the link below and go and schedule your software upgrade today. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to this channel. We'll be posting a lot more content in the coming weeks. Thank you for your time.